Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And on my Instagram, I put a whole bunch of polls of different makeup for you guys to choose between for me to try out in this video here. You guys voted. I have the results in front of me. So now we're gonna test out this new makeup and I'll let you know what I think. Let's go. Okay, so it is nice and early in the morning. Just got out of the shower. Just made a hot cup of coffee. So let's put the makeup on her face. So the first matchup in my subscribers choosing my makeup was an eyebrow pencil showdown. So we have the Pure Cosmetics Arch Nemesis versus the Josie Marin The Good Brow Fill and Chill. And all of these matchups were so close. They kept going back and forth. So I really didn't know who was gonna win any category, which was exciting for me. But with 52% of the votes, Pure Cosmetics has won. So I got this from Kohl's during their most recent, I guess, summer, spring sale, I don't know, whatever it was. So this pencil has a brush here, and then it has a thin pencil on one side and a triangular shape on the other side. So I think right now I'm just going to try out the thin side and see how that works. Okay, so I thought the brow pencil was really easy to work with. So I got this in shade, oh, I got this in dark. I was gonna say, it seems like very dark eyebrows, but that may have been because the color selection wasn't great. I don't really remember, but I usually try to go darker if the more medium shades seem more on the red tone. So this is definitely for a fierce dark eyebrow day. Now for a primer, we have the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer versus the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion. And uh, this one was a landslide. So with 69% of the votes, L'Oreal has won. I got this recently from Target in their festival makeup area. I don't know why this is a festival makeup, but I'm pretty sure it's just like an illuminating primer. I got this in this shade 901 Fair Glow just has like kind of like that Becca backlight primer kind of look to it I think I think that did a really good job making my skin glowy and it didn't feel too thick it felt like a nice thin lotion so if you're not someone who likes a thick primer I think this is nice so now what I'm going to do is my next product is a powder so I'm going to put on some foundation and concealer and then we can do that. Okay, this. so I set my brows with the Brow Gal Instant Brow Gel here. For foundation, I use the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. And then for concealer, I use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. Okay, so the next product you guys had to choose from were two powders. So first we had the JCAT Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation Powder. And then we also had the Becca Hydra Mist and Set Refresh Powder. This one went back and forth a lot. And with 57% of the votes, Becca has won. So I believe this came in a little set I got from Sephora. And when I watched Tati do a review on this powder, she said it darkened her under eyes. So I already set my under eyes with the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. So I'm going to use this Becca powder to set the remainder of my face. Even though loose powder is not my favorite way to set my face, we will try it today. It's got even like a little netting in there, all right? This one is supposed to feel like water when it goes on your face, which I'll let you know if it does. Oh my God, it feels wet. It is so weird. Oh, that is a weird, weird, weird sensation. Like, it feels like this is wrong. Like, why is my brush wet? Actually, I will say the netting in this is nice because I'm able to just dip my brush into the net and it, the powder doesn't get everywhere, but feels so strange. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel, I think it did a nice job not fully mattifying, which is I assume the point of the hydrating moisture, but I'll see how it holds up, I suppose. I guess I shouldn't even use my Catrice spray since it didn't do any mattifying. It's just, it just feels tacky still, which usually it doesn't after I power. I'm gonna go put on some eyeliner and my MAC Paint Pot and then I will show you the eyeshadow palette you guys chose. 
Okay, so I lined my eyes with the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Fishnet and set my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And now we have two eyeshadows that you guys had to choose between. And first is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. And then I have the Makeup Geek Infatuation Palette. And the winner with 54%, this one was so close, is the Natasha Denona Palette. So I recently got this for myself as a treat. And I got this because of Samantha March's recommendation. It's going to be my first time using Natasha Denona shadows and I'm very excited. So I'm just going to start working with these two matte shades. Then I think I'm just going to use one of the shimmer shades, just this one, all over the lid. And I guess I'll try with a brush first without spraying and just see how it performs. Mm, I'm gonna try my finger. Yep, that's a lot better with the finger. Okay, so far I like it, but I don't know if I think it's worth $25. I wanna keep testing it a little because $25 is a lot for something this tiny. So I'm gonna keep working on that. Okay, then you add two bronzers to choose from. First we have the The Balm Take Home The Bronze. And then we have the Smashbox The Cali Contour Palette. This one went back and forth a lot too. But with 65% of the vote, the Smashbox Palette has won. And I think this has more than just bronzer in it, so we might be able to use this for a whole bunch of stuff. I did pick this up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. It's one of those products I've been eyeing up for a long time now, kind of waiting for it to go on sale. So we got some contours, some highlights, some blushes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bronze with this shade over here today with my AOA Studio F14 brush. I don't know if I've ever used Smashbox powder products like this before. Oh, the, the, the only thing I have used is the Spotlight highlighting palette, which I love, so. Okay, and then I am going to go in with this shade for blush with this Moda brush. And then I will highlight with this shade up here with the Luxie 522 brush. It's a little bit more on the golden tone for what I would typically wear. I don't think that highlight is as nice as the Spotlight palette, but I do really like the bronze and the blush. So we have that going for us. Now I'm gonna set my face and put on some mascara and you can see the lip product that you guys chose. Okay, so I set my makeup with the Flower Seal the Deal Spray, and I used the Lorac Royal Treatment Mascara. And now I have two lip products that you guys could have chosen between, and this one went back and forth a lot too. Here are the lip products. The first is from Marc Jacobs, and this is the Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. And then I also have here the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And with 61% of the vote, Marc Jacobs has won. So I actually bought this when I bought the Natasha Denona palette as like a birthday present to myself. So I've heard a lot about this and I have a mini of the regular Sugar Sugar lips, uh, lip gloss and this is in the shade Sugar Sugar, except this is a stick. And I am not crazy about the formula of the actual lip gloss. So I'm very interested in this. I do know that you can't twist it down once you twist it up, so I'm not gonna twist it up too high. Oh my God. I get why people like it so much. It's very clear. So actually, I'm gonna put a lip liner on and then put this over it. I think that would look really nice. Okay, so I put on this one from Wet n Wild. This is their gel lip liner in Bear to Comment. Now I'm gonna put this over top of that. Oh yeah. That is where it's at. There's a cat hair. Can you see that there's a cat hair on it already? That's amazing. There's not even a cat in the room. 
All right, and this was a full face of you guys picking out my makeup. Let's do a final recap. I really like the Pure Arch Nemesis Brow Pencil. I think it's interesting that it comes with two pencils, so it's kind of two for the price of one, if you think of it that way. I really, really liked the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I'll definitely be using this a lot. The Becca Hydri Refresh, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I'm gonna have to play with it a little. I don't, I don't know what I think of it yet. It was a very weird sensation. The Natasha Denona palette, I think, came out with a really nice eye look. I just don't know if it's $25 worth of eye look, if you know what I mean. So I wanna play with it a little. I wanna compare it to some other more neutral palettes I have and see what I think. I'm very happy I grabbed this Smashbox palette though. I definitely can see myself using this one a lot. And then I absolutely love this gloss. It is so much better than the Sugar Sugar regular lip gloss. It's a completely different formula. Much prefer this. So let me know, have you guys tried any of these products? How did they work for you? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.